this one statement will change your life. Okay, so we got here in Nevada. We have a load that we have to deliver in a few hours. They don't want let us come to the delivery place early. So what do you do when you're in Nevada <laughs> and you have a couple of hours to kill? <laughs> you go to a casino. So, hey, little perks of the job, right? <laughs> so one other good thing about these uh, casinos is the buffet. Look at that. Eight dollar for a breakfast buffet, all you can eat. Crazy. I was good actually. Okay, so this is not gonna be like a TNT update, but I'm gonna share something that is was very impactful in my life. I read this one statement uh, in a book, and when I read it, I didn't think too much of it. But when I think, thought about that statement a little bit, it may, hit me really hard. And that statement I'm going to share with you. The reason is because in order to be, I'm in TNT and as you know, uh, as a truck driver and all that, a lot of challenges come in your way and it's going to be constant. One thing after the other, after the other, some things will work. And so what do you need to be successful in that sort of environment is not only skills. Yeah, yeah, you need the skills for driving and be alert and also and have patience and all that. That's all good. But the one thing that is the most important in this situation is the mindset. Okay, if you have the right mindset, it will help you a lot. And this one statement I'm going to share with you is going to be is going to be gold. If you really think about this and it's going to implement, I don't know who needs to hear this, but somebody will benefit from it. So I'm going to share that. Now think about this statement. Uh, let me premise it with a few things. Have you noticed some people in your life around you who even the smallest things basically jar them? Like somebody cuts them off and now they're like, oh my God, oh, I can't believe this guy. Ah, it rattles them or something minor happens in the sense like oh they get a paycheck from the company and it's missing ten dollars or something oh my god they screwed me over how could they do that oh and especially notice the people who say this they don't know who they're dealing with you don't know who you're dealing with do you know who i am that statement is very important when people say that it's a very red flag about uh, it tells a lot about that person so you, you notice those sort of people who get jarred in their life everything is a big disaster even a smaller thing happened oh if it's snowing oh my god it's the worst snow ever oh it's, if they're stuck in traffic traffic was hell i can't be you understand right so that's one type of people that you notice and then there's other type of people who you notice that no matter what happens you know even the biggest disaster could happen with them and they treat it as if like mm, okay yeah it, ha it happened now what like you could walk up to this guy and he's sitting in a tornado and you'll be like, man, there's a tornado around you. And he'll be like, yeah, I did feel like it's a little breezy. <laughs> Those type of people. And they treat even a crumb as a feast. And some people treat a feast as a crumb. So those are these two different categories of people. And the reason I'm telling you these two, this idea is because of this one statement. Now listen carefully. A person is as big as the things that get him upset. What was that? I'll say that again. A person is as big as the things that get him upset. I'll just ponder over that one sentence. Think about it, right? It is a profound statement. And when I heard it, like, and it really hit me and it really stuck with me in my mind that, you know what? There is no such thing as, I'm stressed because of you. I'm stressed because of this traffic. I'm stressed because of this situation. No, the situation is the situation. Your reaction to that situation is what's causing you stress. So if you react to traffic in a stressful manner, you'll be stressed. The traffic didn't cause you to be stressed, uh, didn't stress you out. You stressed out because of the traffic, okay? Somebody was unfair with you they didn't cause you to be angry you are angry because they were unfair okay there's a big difference it's in your control how you react to situations so 
I'll say that again, this statement. A person is as big as the things that get him upset. So if we implement that in our life, the way we are dealing with a lot of issues, we'll realize that, you know what? Yeah, life is going to happen, problems going to happen, but how you react to the problem is going to be depending on what caliber of person you are, okay? And uh, I, I don't know, I mean, this is not a like a preach session or anything, but I just thought about this sentence was so in fact, impactful to my life that I thought I'd share with you guys. And it's very relevant, especially in a place like trucking, because you're going to deal with so many issues and it's just going to be a constant hit, 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 hit from everywhere. And how you deal with it, just remember this statement and it's going to help you. All right, guys? So take care.